morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. I want to say a big hello to all of my subscribers, new and old. I appreciate you guys so much and uh, thank you for joining me today. I recently was introduced to a new, a new designer to me uh, through Angela Kerr. And they are called uh, Chapter One Papers on Etsy. And uh, she, the, the two ladies reached out to me and asked me if I'd want to do a guest design team project. And of course I said yes, because who wouldn't want to? Uh, their, their papers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I recently purchased the subscription box. Um, well, not a subscription box, it, like the ephemera box. Um, that they had offered it sold out now and when it came in I was so impressed by that um, so I'm going to do a couple of little uh, projects uh, for this company and I wanted to share with you the papers that I'm going to be working with I've got the strawberry garden and then I've also got the sugared almond kit because I think they really complement each other and I had already had um, the strawberry garden in my stash, so I pulled that out and started working with it. And they just are gorgeous images. I love strawberries anyways, and so when I found this uh, kit, I just went crazy over it. So let's just jump in, and I'll show you what I made. I, I was thinking in terms of Happy Mail. Um, so... I played around with it, and this is what I came up with, and these I think are going to be perfect. I've got some little giveaways planned for my patrons, and I think these are just going to be perfect because they're small enough that they're going to be able to fit in a regular envelope, and it's not going to cost too much on shipping. So I just think it's a perfect Happy Mail idea. So as you can see on the front, I've used the slotted stitch uh, Tim Holtz die, and I've just added a lot of different bits of ephemera that come in the kit. You get the beautiful tags, you get a few of the little post um, postcard images, and I will say I own the postcard kit that she's got as well. Um, if I can get to those um, I don't know if I can get to them easily, but I, I own those as well. But in this, um, I believe this is the sugared almond kit that you get those. And then you also get, look at these tags, aren't those gorgeous? So the pick, the pieces that um, I incorporated from the strawberry garden, you get the little hearts. And then some of the papers I've used in there. And like I said, I just think they mix beautifully with those. So I added um, a little saying here. I did a little dimensional um, butterfly. I added an, a tab, an eyelet, a little charm, some lace. And then when this flips over, I created a large pocket back here. And this is another of the... Um, tags and I just added some Wink Estella. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera but I love adding that to my um, little roses and things to make them just stand out a little bit more. A little stamp tag there. Some uh, tea dyed seam binding and this is one of the little labels that you get. You get beautiful labels in the kit. So I've added that to that tag and then here I just made a belly band and again, <clears throat> a couple of the journal cards that come. Love those papers. And that's, as I said, that's part of the Strawberry Garden Kit. So over here I just made a double pocket and filled it with various tags and journal cards. I love these tags. She's got the faux stitching on there. Just beautiful. And then I did some sewing around this one as well. I think these are going to just be beautiful little giveaways um, that I can send out in the mail easily. 
and then look at those they're embroidered um, tags and I love that and then on the back here I just created a double pocket uh, you get pockets within the kit as well, so that's always nice. Um, another little tag. I've tucked that one in there. And then here, again, this is from the Strawberry Garden Kit. You get the little envelope with the, the note card, and I just think that's really, really sweet. So there's um, a lot of little places for the recipient to do some journaling in and then this can always be added to a larger journal so that's why I like the idea this is a happy mail gift because it could so easily be incorporated into a um, a pocket of a journal or you could just clip it in and it could be like a floating pocket as well and I'm always looking for things that aren't too bulky because as you're very much aware that when you're creating things for journals, it can just they can just end up so bulky that you can't um, you can't really make use of them. So let's just jump in and get started. Um, see if I've got everything here. Probably not, because you know me well enough to know. <laughs> okay, so this is the sugared almond papers. One of the papers from it, and you also she includes a background which has been. Um, You've got the doily um, tea dyed image that she includes. So what I did is just backed the paper. I cut that down to five and a quarter by seven and a half. And then we're just going to cut that or fold it in half. And then on the front because I knew it was going to be full of ephemera, I didn't bother to add an, another background paper. You could, because on the back, I chose to stitch this just to add more color to it. But you could do that on the front if you feel like it's a bit too plain. But because it's full of all the ephemera, I, I am actually happy to leave it uh, plain. All right, so... Just get started. I'm going to distress this a little bit just to make it look a little bit more aged. I'll get the little label to go on this. I uh, should have had this out already. So I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Um, I got the chance to go to the car boot and I didn't get anything. I didn't get much this week. No, actually, thinking about it, I'll just use one of the labels that she includes. Yeah, I'll do that. So I didn't get much as far as the craft room. I did pick up a little um, a little cabinet that I'm hoping I can use to separate some of my, like the labels and butterflies that I've fussy cut. Um, and then maybe some of my bits of metal because um, I really want to get my space more user friendly. I seem to be spending so much time going from one spot to the other and I'm trying to get it rearranged so that I can work a little bit more efficiently in here. So I did that on early Sunday morning and then uh, of course did a couple of walks with Daisy, although I wouldn't exactly call them walks anymore. She doesn't walk now that much, but she likes to go swimming in the river, so so her walk is just basically turned into just taking her down to the river. 
this is um, you get a couple of the butters butterflies in the um, the kit so I'm just going to fussy cut that and put it on there so the, yeah that's basically what we do we just walk her down and let her paddle around in the river for a few minutes because that's about all she can take these days um, this last year we've seen a big big change in her uh, she can't do the long walks so we're having to unfortunately um, go out and do a separate walk for ourselves because it, you just can't we can't walk you know, at a, a reasonable pace with her, she's just so slow, and she suffers really bad, you know, if we if we do a long walk, so we've just decided that uh, those days are, are behind her now, and it's very sad to see, you know, what's coming, but you know this when you take on an animal. But she's been a really good, good little companion. And uh, some days she really does not act her age at all. It's only, like I said, if we, if we do a, a long walk that she suffers the next day. So, And she's on medication now for her joints. So we just decided it's not worth putting her through it. Okay, so we'll come back. Um, only thing, I want to go ahead and get a tab on here. And these are some of the tabs that, that my wonderful subscribers sent me during my friendship challenge. Thank you. <laughs> So that's amazing to have these because I've been using the little um, die cut tabs and I still like to use them but gosh they're a real pain to um, to cut out so sometimes it's just nice to have these. If it, you know, if they coordinate, it's nice to have these that I can just use. Okay, and I may as well go ahead and get my little eyelet set in there. So I'm trying to think if there was anything else we did. Um, we ran out to a little local farm here. We live in an area where they grow a lot of strawberries. So all week, I haven't been telling you guys this, but all week I've been having fresh strawberries and cream. <laughs> ah, it's amazing. Not supposed to. I know I'm keto, but I'm doing it because life is short. <laughs> So yesterday, um, somebody came across um, advertising a farm here that's got the cherries in. So you know, being from Michigan, I love my cherries now. So we went out and... Um, sorry, I'm looking for a charm to go on that. So we went out and got ourselves some fresh cherries yesterday. So I did feel a little bit better about... Um, having the fresh cherries uh, versus what I've been having all week, which was, I didn't tell you everything. It was fresh strawberries, meringue, and um, cream. <laughs> and we've had that almost every day. Oh my gosh, it's so good, so good. So yeah, yesterday was just, just fresh cherries, but I love that equally. And uh, surprisingly, we've we've gotten about three good um, batches of raspberries off of our raspberries. We've only got two raspberry bushes, but they've produced enough this year that we've had three uh, little 
desserts with the raspberries as well. But we've decided that we prefer the strawberries. So um, Okay, so that's, I'm not going to fill in the this part just yet. I want to move on into the inside here. And we are going to get this pocket made. And I know I wrote it down, but I don't know where that paper is now. So, three and a quarter. By four, uh, I don't know, four and three quarter. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to cut and try to use this image for the pocket. I think that'd be pretty. So let me just cut that down, guys. I've already forgotten what I said. Four and three quarter. I don't want to lose that image. Yep, that's perfect. Okay guys, I'm going to the machine because I want this to be stitched. So I'm going to run that to the machine and I shall return. Okay guys, I have run that through the machine just to add a little bit more detail to it. And now we're just going to get that glued down. Okay, now I want to do a little belly band there. Now this is another sheet with the Strawberry Garden Kit. Look at these beautiful um, images. And I just think I'm going to go probably with this one because I, I like the idea of that strawberry being in there. And I just took my uh, <clears throat> tearing ruler wherever that's gone to. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. There it is. Buried, buried again. And I'm just going to tear this off because I've already torn that side when I used the first one. So I want to get the strawberry in there. So I'm just going to take a little bit off that side and a bit off of here just to make a little belly band. And this time, I'm not actually going to add anything um, to it. I just think the image is so pretty, it doesn't really need anything. Um, but you could, you could dress that up like I've done there. I added the button and a few things, uh, some lace underneath and all, but I'm not going to on this one. So, um, I, something I, I probably should have addressed at the beginning of the, the video, and I didn't. Uh, I've, this weekend, I've made some changes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, without talk, you know, while I'm telling you my, my story, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add, what I did here was two pockets, and like I said, those come in the kit. So let me just grab a couple of those and I can work while I'm chatting. Um, so this weekend there's been a couple of things and I don't want this to turn political. <clears throat> That's not my intention <clears throat> for my channel at all. I mean obviously I have my views just like everybody else but um, I tried to keep that off of my channel, but there is something that's bothering me hugely. And um, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because 
it does actually impact um, my channel. Uh, I, over the weekend, made the decision to cut ties with Amazon. So I no longer <clears throat> have a storefront. And I 99% of you, this doesn't even matter. But um, for the few who have, and in my, <clears throat> excuse me, my previous videos, you will see the link is still there. I've changed that now on up, you know, any any videos going forward that's been removed. But I don't have time to go back and alter the old videos, so it will still be there. But once a person clicks on it, it's going to say it's not active. And like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot. Um, you know, you hopefully you know what's going on in the world, but. I made the decision when I found out, um, and I did check this out, that Amazon is allowing t-shirts to be sold that say Blue Lives Murder. And I don't agree with that, and I'm not going into, you know, my, but I, I just, I can't, with a clear conscience, support a company that will permit anything like that on their site. and. Not only that, it's been bothering me about um, China, the amount of product, product <clears throat> that is uh, coming from China, and I'm getting very, very, very concerned. Um, so there was, there was a couple of things that had been bothering me for a while, but that was just the catalyst that did it for me. I just thought, no way can I be associated with a company that's going to promote... Um, anything like that, uh, particularly for our police officers who put their lives on the line every day to protect us. Now, I know there are, just like with any um, area, there are going to be the odd few that shouldn't be doing that, that job. They shouldn't be in that position. But you can say that for, for any job. So... Um, and that's that's all I'm going to say about it, guys. But I did want to explain because if you go, you know, if you do look at some of the older videos and click on it, you'll be wondering what's going on. And that's that's my decision on that. I'm I'm just I'm done with Amazon. Okay, so moving on to happier things. We're kind of getting everything in place, and then on the back here. Just double up on the pocket again. Oh, I like that one. I just ran across that one. That's really sweet. So I... I need a large one. Um, so, okay, so we will get those on there, and then we'll go back and um, and get the tags added to it and the little, the little bits and pieces that come. Yeah, it's really, it's always exciting when you find somebody new, and uh, I was really, really, I felt really honored when they asked me if I would be interested in, in doing them a, a a project. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just always nice to work with some new designs. But as I said to you before, I, I don't mind doing the odd guest one, but I don't want to get um, any any more full time because I've got I like I like the ladies I work with now, and I don't I just don't have time to take on any more projects really. So yeah, I like the idea of these um, for Happy Mail because I've finally got my <clears throat> self in gear and have started sending out a few things here and there. Oh, gosh, just time, time, time. But yeah, I'm I'm really 
really pleased I finally got around to doing a few of the things that had been on my list for for ages. And I was trying to think, oh yeah, the other thing, and not that you really care, but I did pick up some curtains yesterday when I was at the, oh, I was going to put down, oh, I'm glad I caught myself. I, I went ahead and sewed this, um, you know, when I took the little break to do the other bit. So I'm going to put that, actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this upside down just because I don't want that pocket to cover that image. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh, that's so pretty. It's such a beautiful kit. So, um, yeah. I started talking and got lost track again. Oh, I'm getting terrible about that, guys. I'm so sorry. It's very annoying, I know. I know it is because... <laughs> Paul and I complain about it from our parents all the time. They start telling us something and then they switch off onto something else. Um, I did manage to get some really pretty curtains for my spare, the spare bedroom um, at the car boot. And I'm really, really psyched about it because um, I wasn't looking for it, but it, that's always the way, isn't it? What you're not looking for. Um, if you go out looking for something, you'll never find it. But yeah, I didn't even realize I, I was thinking in those terms, and I spotted those. And to be honest, I picked them up just because I like the fabric. You know, like I need more fabric. Um, and I thought, and then when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, I think those will fit that window. And sure enough, they did. So, so there goes my fabric, um, which I didn't need it anyways. But... Um, so I got those washed up yesterday and pressed, and then we're getting the rod up today. Oh, I love that pocket. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Oh, look at that, and I love the writing on that. That is just so cute. Yeah, I don't even think that needs anything, to be honest. I just love that. All right, let's start filling in with some... It's from the kit. Let me check my time. I don't want to make these videos too long. Okay, let me pull over. Um, this is one of the another of the envelopes that you get. I'm trying to find the. This is the little note card. Isn't that sweet? So let me just go ahead and get that tucked into that back pocket. So yeah, I think. Um, unfortunately, all my stuff is just went back over into that spare room. So I'm going to clear all that out. And then I'm actually thinking that in July, I might, if we have a, a cool down, I might paint one of the walls in the spare bedroom. I don't want to put any wallpaper because... We know we're going to be leaving here, but we just don't know when. So um, I'd rather not wallpaper <clears throat> because a lot of people get put off when you go to sell if it's been wallpapered. So, so I might do that just to spruce it up a little bit. Um, not that we ever get anybody coming because we don't. <laughs> I wish my I wish my kids could come over. Yep, yeah, they can't. They, everybody's like it's so ridiculous. If you enter the country, you've got to go into two weeks quarantine. So it's like, okay, who's going to even want to come here if they know they got to stay two weeks in a hotel? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking on that is. And they didn't even have a quarantine when it was at the worst. So, I don't know. The whole world's gone crazy. Just craziness. And that needs to trim it down just slightly. So yeah, I'm really limiting my news um, again. Just uh, uh oh, this is a slightly smaller pocket than I had on the other one. Oh dear. Yep, that's not gonna work. Won't go in there either, will it? Won't go in that one. Hmm. Oh goodness. 
Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, let me see. I'll have to tweak that slightly. All right, let's see what we've got here. Which let's get our tags pulled out. Got the little heart there. Another ticket from the kit. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful tag? Just love those. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how I can... It clearly... Because they're so generous with the uh, pockets. <clears throat> I must have grabbed one that was just slightly smaller than what I had used before. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to work that one out, but that's okay. We'll fill it with something for sure. <clears throat> and I worked in the garden for a little bit uh, yesterday, cleaning it up and pulling a few things out that just weren't weren't working too well and then we've replanted some of the radishes and things like that so that's good we'll have those coming up again soon so I've got this large tag back there and I'm trying to see where my little postcards <coughs> Here we go, you can see now. Beautiful little little tags. And that was basically it for the weekend, really. It just seemed to fly by. Um, I got to speak with my son. Um, yesterday and then we're going to talk with him today because he's still working uh, part-time from home not not every week they alternate and at the moment where he works a week in the office and then a week from home but he figures this is going to be his last week doing that so so we're going to get to talk again today and I'll probably speak with my daughter at some point today as well I normally talk to her um, Usually Mondays or Tuesdays she'll give me a ring. Okay, so let's go inside. Now this I had a large tag. Look at those. Just beautiful tags. And I just think it's going to be really, really nice for somebody um, to get this. And then they can just use, if they want to just take it apart and use bits here and there, or, or like I said, add the whole thing to a, a journal. It would just be so nice to receive something. I don't know. Did it, do other people get excited when they get things in the mail? I do because it's just so rare <laughs> these days to, um, you know, to get a handwritten letter. And I wonder if, if, um, if, if everybody still gets excited about that kind of stuff, because I do. I just love to see um, a handwritten letter. Obviously, some of these I'll go back and sew around. I'm just going to get them in there for you guys to see um, for now. And then, like I said, before I do the drawings for these, because I'm going to start doing some fun giveaways on my patron. And these are just going to be perfect. And you can see they're not too stressful to do as well. So we all like quick and easy. Look at 
that one. Just so pretty. <laughs> I love these kits. I absolutely love them. So you guys probably heard me talking about my jelly plate I purchased not too long ago. <laughs> Isn't it just the way? Bought that, and of course I realized straight away I didn't have enough um, inks, different colored inks. Okay, so I'm like, okay, Gina, uh, just go ahead, get yourself some distress inks. Order those. Now I've got distress inks piled up on my desk because I don't have any place to put those. So what do I have to do? I've got to order a storage for the distress, distress inks. And it goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Because now I'm realizing, okay, really I need to get some stencils, some large stencils, so that I can work with this. Well, there you go. It just just dominoes. It's never just one item <laughs> that you need. No, no, no. So I'm thinking, oh, I kind of, I, I do enjoy it though, but I, I am kind of thinking, oh gosh, I've started down a whole nother road now. Should I have done it? <laughs> but it's done. I bought them. So, oh, I love that tag. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Just get a little bit more here, guys, and we will finish this up because I know you're fed up with listening to me and chat. I do struggle to come up with conversation because um, I don't do a lot, so there's never really a lot to report to you. Um, every day just kind of runs into the next, really, and there's very little that, uh, that's exciting to share. <laughs> But I guess that's probably the way most people are feeling at the moment. It's just uh, strange times. Very strange times. I wish I would have lowered that slightly. Oh well, still looks okay. Um, okay, so back here I had the envelope. So we're going to have to just, we're just going to have to put a couple of other things in there. And then I will figure out. Oh, look at these journal cards. Aren't those pretty? Yeah, I sat down and, and cut. Um, I'll add a few more things here and there. I cut out a lot of this the other night, and uh, I didn't notice that as I was cutting it out. That's beautiful. So yeah, hopefully I'll get around very soon now to um, doing some background papers because that's what I've found that I, I'm just loving working with that uh, jelly press for that. So I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing any more on that or not. Um, I've had a few people sh share, you know, show some interest in it uh, because I think everybody's got an idea that the um, the jelly press and they do tend to be, I have to say, it, they did put me off. Most of the tutorials out there do seem to be really um, bright loud colors but I've been playing with it in, in really soft tones and um, I've had a couple of ladies really like what they saw, so I probably will be sharing that very soon, just as a little create with me. So if you're interested, look out for that, because I'll, I'll make it very clear in the description that it is, in case you, you're not interested, you can just move on from it. But yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to play with some different things and um, experiment because you do tend to just get stuck in doing the same thing day after day, and I do like dabbling. All right, so 
it's you know it's come out a little bit different but like I said I love that and I just personally don't feel like it needed anything there um, because I want to keep these thin so that it's not going to cost just ridiculous money on posting um, because most of my packages go outside the country and it just can end up being so expensive so I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope that you'll check out uh, Chapter 1 on Etsy. I will put a link to their shop in the description box below. So do check them out. I think you'll find some beautiful things to work with there. And um, Anyways, guys, I hope everybody has a great start to the week. Stay safe, and um, yeah, keep smiling, guys. It's hard times, I know, but just keep smiling. We'll get through it. Take care. Bye.